Well, in Canada, the trucker protests over COVID restrictions appear to be over. Hundreds of officers in riot gear sweeping through Ottawa's streets over the weekend after three weeks of protests in the capital city, close to 200 arrests and nearly 60 vehicles towed. Now, meantime, in our nation's capital, security ramping up amid fears of a similar truck convoy protest. Fencing around the Capitol grounds set to be installed ahead of President Biden's State of the Union address next week. Right now, it's not clear if the truckers plan to cause the type of disruption seen in Canada. Now, correspondent Evan Lambert, live in the nation's capital. Evan, you spoke with two truckers today. One says there are plans to shut down roads, but the other says they don't want to cause chaos. Nicole, we are talking two very different sets of tactics here. There are several groups that plan to bring convoys here to D.C., but it is unclear how many people will show up and how things will unfold. Still, law enforcement taking it very seriously. News Nation speaking to two planned U.S. trucker convoys that share goals with the trucker protests we've seen in Canada. The groups with two very different approaches. This isn't just truckers. Um, you know, there's moms and Subarus and the family dog and the kids coming. Maureen Steele is behind the so-called People's Convoy. It's organized with a website, fundraising, press releases, and a map of the group's route from California to the D.C. area. Steele says it'll begin with hundreds of truckers leaving from the L.A. area on February 23rd. But unlike in Canada, this group doesn't plan to block roads or bridges. Instead, it wants to get its message across peacefully and by following the law. Freedom, liberty, they want the um, emergency um the national emergency lifted, and we want accountability. Another group plans a more disruptive approach. The Beltway and other roads in and out of the area will be shut down. Threatening to block the major thoroughfare in the D.C. area. The People's Convoy's plans don't bring them to D.C. until after the March 1st State of the Union. But News Nation is learning as a precaution for the unknowns of how the trucker convoys will unfold. Capitol Police plan to secure the Capitol with the seven-foot fence that was in place for months after January 6th. Roads are already closed in the area with federal and local police saying they are aware of plans for a convoy Convoy and are ready to respond if things become disruptive. And News Nation is told by two sources that the fence around the Capitol building is set to go up mid to late this week. Nicole? Yeah, lots of feelings about that fence going up. All right, Evan, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.